Hello everybody and welcome to Mob and Gardens June 2009. It is June the 21st, which is the first official day of summer this year. And that's always a pretty exciting event. Uh, and out in the garden we have our usual participants, Molly. She's not quite feeling up to things today, but uh, she's still looking around and checking things out. And then we got the original mud puppy here, Jessie, doing what she does best. And uh, there's nothing but mud out here. You might be able to hear me sort of squishing as I walk. This has been the rainiest June that I could remember in a long time. But uh, nevertheless, uh, with raised beds and everything, we're doing okay. No plants are drowning. And uh, as you can see where we usually start, chives are doing fine. There's the, it's the last few of these, um, these blooms, um, but the chives themselves will keep going for quite some time. And elsewhere, here in bed one, we've erected these ladders for the cucumbers so that they can uh, climb up. And as a matter of fact, they actually are. You can see this little tendril wrapping around here. That's kind of neat. This is zucchini, uh, much more significant than it was uh, the last time you saw it. And uh, this is uh, a yellow summer squash. And we will actually be harvesting those uh, little guys as the first uh, official um, summer squash harvest. They're not um, real big, but they're harvestable, definitely. This is uh, a patty pan squash. Um, just a little tiny one there coming in. Let me see if I can find it in the camera. I'm not doing very well. There it is. Um, anyway, those are way too small to uh, even look at harvesting, but uh, another couple of weeks they'll be in pretty good shape and then finally in bed one uh, these are the pumpkin plants that we're doing this year and uh, they haven't even started to bloom yet they always are later because they're more like a winter squash and uh, not much blooming in the pet memorial area but uh, it's still looking um, rather nice and uh, uh, I think we're going to get some more blooms later as different things come in Meanwhile, over here in bed two, we got action in the beans department. The beans aren't real thrilled about all this wet weather we're having. But um, this is a pole bean, red noodle. This is a pole bean also, just a, 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 a you know typical green bean. Um, the red noodle is supposed to be a yard-long bean. And here's something new we're trying this year, soybeans. Um, uh, never grown those before, and I've got one portion that's sort of sparsely populated, and then um, massively planted on this end. I don't know which one will do better. And then uh, this is supposed to be a um, bush lima bean, but uh, it's more, it seems like it's acting more like a uh, pole bean, so hopefully it'll bush up in a bit. And uh, look at these brassicas, they are just doing fantastic. This is Brussels sprouts. Uh, in between there is uh, cabbage, and look at the broccoli. Broccoli um, coming in with some nice heads for me. Get that pine needle out of there. Um, but uh, the broccoli is always the, the earliest to uh, harvest, and you can see that those heads look pretty darn nice. Leeks continuing to do well, and look at this pea harvest. Sometimes peas are a problem. Not this year, not with this variety. Um, we'll be harvesting almost all of these, you can see, they're all really good size, um, and uh, uh, a very nice uh, several servings that we'll be harvesting just tonight. Um, meanwhile, the mixed greens, we've got another batch ready to go, uh, and uh, this dark spot here is where we've just planted um, the third planting. And uh, the spinach is all gone. We got uh, several good gallon bags of spinach. And uh, I've put some leftover uh, pepper seedlings in their place. And here's the, um, is this the second, second planting of radishes? I think this is the second planting of radishes. And beets, gold touch tone, coming along fine. As are the um, carrots. And the carrots are about ready to be thinned again. But this time when we thin them, we'll get nice baby carrots. This is, this is a purple variety of carrot. Unusual, but uh, they will be tasty nonetheless. So when we thin those, we'll get a whole 
slew of nice baby carrots to eat. Meanwhile, bed number three, onions. Uh, looks like a mess. Uh, I may have them planted just a little bit too tightly, but um, they're doing well. And if you look over here at the um, some of the, the candy variety, you can see that they're definitely uh, bulbing up. So that's always a good sign. Meanwhile, the potatoes just doing gangbusters and uh, blooming also. Um, and whenever you get blooms, it means you've can probably steal a few um, new potatoes in a couple of weeks so uh, that's very encouraging but as you can see they're about three feet tall and really doing very well tomatoes all caged up and uh, at least three feet tall uh, three different varieties this year um, pink beauty that one is uh, uh, I'm not sure what this one is I've got the name on the other side um, and Juliet. This is uh, San Marzano. That's what this is. It's a kind of a, um, uh, a Italian type tomato. And then um, 